Well, I'm in southwestern Ontario, a place that's very familiar to me. I grew up here. I uh, learned how to camp here with my dad. I learned how to fish here with my dad. I learned how to love nature with my dad. I paddled all around here in my youth and uh, I had a few days and I thought, you know what? Just to calm things down in life, I'm just going to go back to the familiar, go back to a place that I know really well. And uh, yeah, so southwestern Ontario. I'm going to stay at Rondo Provincial Park, uh, basically because it's nice, but also it's because that's where we went camping as a, as a family. But also I'm going to go to the Wallaceburg Waterway Trail, which a lot of people don't know about. It's really cool. And so there's three rivers that go into Lake St. Clair, um, Lake Huron, Lake St. Clair? Lake St. Clair, Lake Huron, I don't know, I'll have to look on that. But the Sydenham River, Sny and Russian Creek, I think it's called Russian Creek. I have to look at the map again. Sorry, I'll show the map. And it creates a loop. So you basically paddle all three rivers to do a loop. There's a whole bunch of other trips uh, you can do there as well. Um, uh, there's a great website on a whole bunch of places to paddle. But that is a really good day trip. Um, and we're going to explore that. And I'm driving County Road 3 instead of the 401. So 401 is the major highway and um, I got off that uh, by uh, London, Ontario and um, uh, I'm just taking number three and it's a lot more calming <laughs> than taking the 401. A lot more scenic, yeah, uh, I really like this area. Brings back some good memories too. All right, well Angel, are you driving? <laughs> it's your turn to drive. You wanna drive? No? You all right then? Yeah? You gonna have a nap? No? Okay, we're almost there. Fantastic fish and ships. Here we go. A little small hamlet on Lake Erie and Rondo Bay. A uh, great place to stop and shop and get fish and chips and even go to the brewing company. Awesome! <laughs> uh, time to camp.
that was a good first day. Wow, I'm so glad I did this. Uh, wow, wow. Uh, I, 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 I love Rondo. Um, man, so many past memories of growing up here as a, as a kid, just doing what, what I hear right, right now, like all the kids having fun after the beach, and they're all um, having a fire and s'mores and riding their bikes around, and Angela's exhausted. She's like, I'm a high alert all day. She's like, okay, I'm going to bed now, no. And, uh, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, but also the diversity. Like, like I work down here in Fish and Wildlife, and, yeah, it's so cool to be back here and realize how diverse the ecosystem is here. Like, I don't know if you can hear it. Listen. Yes, there's kids playing and everything else, and that's fantastic, but... Chorus frogs, mink frogs, just heard a barn owl call. Like, this is amazing. Tomorrow, this is going to be awesome. Okay? Awesome. Okay, I'm about to head out. Angel's all excited. And um, I'm at Running Creek, just outside of Wallaceburg. I mean, the, the city's right there. And uh, this is... Crothers Conservation Area, it's a great place to put in. They have a dock here for you to put in, but the water level is a little high, so. <laughs> oh man, big huge fish just jumped in front of me, wow. Okay, so this is one of the many loops you can do. Uh, check it out online, I'll put the link below. Uh, Wallaceburg uh, Waterway Trails. Uh, do a whole bunch of loops here with the Sny River, the Sydenham, and the rushing, you know, Running Creek. So I'm gonna do one of those today. Awesome. My first obstacle. Oh, obstacle. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay. That was a little low. Just a little low. But we're good. So the water level is pretty high, uh, so I can't go underneath that, but there is a lift over here uh, that people have been using. No problems, just solutions. It's really nice in here though. Man, oh wait Angel, we're not going sure yet. Yeah, keep an eye out for stinging nettle. I haven't seen poison ivy yet, so that's alright. I have seen stinging nettle. And if you ever do get it that, walk through it with your shorts on, just put your legs in the water, cool them off. It's this acid that gets into that really hurts. But yeah, um, the water level is really high. You can tell everybody's docks it in the water, underwater a bit. All right, but it's it's really quick and easy. I'll show you just to lift over. A couple of wood ducks just uh, flush in front of me. Lots of wildlife here, lots of bird life. Tons of diversity along the bank. When you leave Wallaceburg, um, base your piling through farm country and then actually along the border of the First Nations Reserve. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, full of stuff to watch and look at. Love it. 
I'm really liking this part of the trip. I don't know if I want to go in the bigger water today in the seat, so uh, I might make an executive decision to keep to this really tranquil running creek. Russian creek? Running creek? I think it's running creek. <laughs> Just enjoy this. There's so much wildlife here. It's really nice. The whole loop itself is about 21 kilometers. I'll see. I'll see. Um, I'm not sure where I am at this point. I haven't even looked at the, the map or GPS. I'm just following the river, following the creek, Russian Creek, Running Creek. This place that I am. Well, we made the decision. Actually, more <laughs> more Angel made the decision than I did. A uh, really hot day for that, that dog being the, the boat all day in big water. So we just kept to Burning Creek, and which was lovely actually. Went down it to actually a drainage ditch that connects to one of the other rivers as well. It's a bit of a shortcut. Um, yeah, and then I saw the big water and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go back and do more bird watching on, on the rushing Running Creek. <laughs> I can't get that right. That creek we just paddled. So this is another place you can put in. Uh, this is on the Snai River, and uh, the would be, would be the upper part of it because um, it goes into Mitchell's Bay. So really clear water here, beautiful, beautiful bit of water, a lot bigger than the the uh, Running Creek. The Running Creek actually comes into it just downstream from here. There's another place you can put in uh, a little parkway just down downstream. I'll show you as well. But this is um, a plaque uh, area. There's historic plaque, and is it 1804? It was 1804. Uh, a bunch of Scottish settlers uh, came here, and uh, 90 of them. Uh, I think there's 15 families, and it didn't go well for them at all. <laughs> uh, they didn't like their leader, I think, uh, but also uh, um, uh, malaria uh, took a lot of them. And it was low-lying area, so it was hard to settle, hard to farm. And uh, then actually, the uh, I think it was 1812. Yeah, that would make sense. The American militia came in and attacked them and stole all the cows. So a lot of them just left. <laughs> so anyway, really cool bit of history around this area. Tons of history, especially because of the War of 1812. Okay, this is another access point on the, the snake I told you about. It's just down from that that, uh, that plaque. It's called McDonald Park? Uh-oh. I think McDonald Park. <laughs> it's parked just down from there, though. And yeah, uh, it's a boat launch. It's a busy boat launch. So maybe the other place might be better for you to put your canoe in. Angel found a dead bird. Oh, come on, Angel. Oh, oh, oh. It's a great way to access this route. Maybe not for, for birds. <laughs> gross. Poor bird. Okay, beautiful spot though. Okay, I'm entering Shiloh at the campground. Just checking in. Um, all right, well, that's an option. Um, you can camp here and then actually do the loop. Uh, the loop actually does take quite a while. It's a full day, okay? Especially the big loop. Um, it's over 26 kilometers. Um, if you do the drainage ditch, it's 21 kilometers. And there's also one bridge you have to lift over uh, near the drainage ditch as well. Anyway, um, you could camp here and that would be an option or do what I just did um, stay at Rondo Rondo was only 40 minutes away from here so um, so it was easy peasy and uh, yeah it's just be, it'd be nice to actually maybe do it in two days um, as opposed to one really long day so you can camp here and then actually um, halfway through your route loop that'd be cool actually I've never heard of this place though Shiloh hmm? Pastor is here at 10 a.m. Sunday. <laughs> it can't be all bad. <laughs> so, when you're traveling through Chatham and Kent, especially if you're being in a, a canoe all day in, a, in the hot sun, uh, stop at this place before you go back to your campsite. It's awesome beer. Look at this.
Yeah, Sons of Kent uh, Brewing Company. And I was here a few years ago when I went to uh, Powell the Hill, whole entire Thames River. Great people and good beer too. Awesome. Cool. I didn't know Rondo was 125 years old this year. Cool. <laughs> they might have chose a better year. <laughs> 2020 have a birthday celebration. All right, I'm uh, heading to the pub just down the road from the park. Uh, it's been a long day on the water. Wow, it was a uh, it was a good paddle, really good paddle. It's just a really long day, really warm too, and it's literally <coughs> down the road. Like I was going to paddle there, but I actually can't paddle with the dog, and then she won't stay by the canoe. She always wants to be with me, so I can't do that. So. Let's take the vehicle. But you can drive right to this place. Rondo's Joe's Pub. Here we go. I know I'm big on the fish and chip thing wherever I go, but uh, why not? If it works for you, I'll get the perch. Excellent. Ooh, ooh. Yum yum, I'm starving. What a long day. Again, a good day. It's a very long day. Did you see that? Did you see the size of those trees? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Big trees. Big trees. And yes, I love trees. That is one cool tree. Wow. Look at the scenery along this road. This is amazing. Look at this. Um, oh, hey, Angel. Oh, did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, you're getting burned by the fire. Back up, back up. Oh. Sun oh, can't. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I got this. Oh, you getting some water? Okay. 1792 English Ale. Love this. Oh. Spirit Wolf. Haven't tried it yet. I should have got more. There's like two deer right beside my vehicle. <laughs> nice morning. Well, I decided to uh, take hike this morning before heading out. I just wanted to go for a walk instead of go for a path. Because I went paddling yesterday. It's the South Point Trail and uh, goes along <coughs> the uh, east shore of the point in Lake Erie. So, this is an old road. <coughs> um, it used to lead to a campground back in the 60s, I believe. <coughs> and uh, the campground got it roaded out from uh, wave action of Lake Erie. But the road's still here. Lovely trail. Sometimes it's nice to go back to the familiar, to rejuvenate yourself, to remember where you've come from, and where you've learned to enjoy nature and want to protect it. Yeah. And sometimes it's good to think of the future instead of the past all the time. <laughs> Yin and yang, I guess. Anyway, 